what is up guys welcome back to another video so as you see right before your eyes we have the UCS Republic gunship an amazing set um, probably the most hyped and anticipated set of the year my first ever UCS set uh, in my collection if you don't count the Tantive 4 but this is just such an incredible set um and i'm just going to kind of get into the story of how i was able to re to acquire it little disclaimer before we get into the video uh this is just going to be a lot of me kind of talking about my experience with ordering the gunship and stuff like that so it's not going to be very much visual uh, i'm only going to be showing the gunship so if that is not for you you can click off the video i totally understand also if you hear a loud noise it's probably because it's raining anyways back to the gunship so yeah, so this set obviously was released on August 1st. It was the UCS um, set, a part of the Summer Wave for Star Wars sets. And it uh, was fan voted. I think on the back here, it, I don't know if it says anything about being fan voted. Okay, no, it doesn't. I, I think on um, Lego.com it says something like voted by you or you know something like that. It's something that kind of acknowledges that, that this set was um voted by the fans but yeah so it was a august 1st release um and basically what happened was um i was not planning on getting this set right away um because you know it's gonna be around for a while and i thought might as well get some other sets um and also, I, I didn't just really, I really didn't have the money for it at the time, so I did not plan on getting it right away. In fact, I actually stayed up on August 1st, and I ordered a different set, which was this one right here. And that was the only set that I was planning on getting for August 1st. Um, and so, yeah, so I, I stayed up August 1st, I ordered the Mandalorian Starfighter, um, and that was that. I also had the Bad Batch shuttle pre-ordered. That I had pre-ordered it back in early July, and it was supposed to um, come, uh, like, you know, it, it was supposed to ship on August first, you know, the, the usual. And basically, I had ordered the Bad Batch shuttle using VIP points and uh, a gift card. And somewhere along the line, the gift card failed to, I, I don't know what exactly happened, but it, like, it failed, the, the website did not take the gift card correctly, and, uh, which basically canceled the order, and I knew that something was wrong, because, I mean, if you guys are Lego fans, you know that whenever you order a set, uh, you can go onto your account, and it will show the order. Uh, well, that was not the case with this set. The, I would go on to try to see the Bad Batch shuttle, and um, it would say it, it, it wouldn't have the Bad Batch shuttle as a set that I had ordered. So I was getting a bit worried, called Lego a few times. They kept on telling me it was all good until about August 3rd, we called again, and they said that the order was canceled, which was very frustrating because, um, you know, I, I had already called, like, what, four times, and they had said, it's all good, but then... A day after it goes on back order, then they tell me it's canceled. So, long story short, Lego ended up giving me 13,000 VIP points to make it up. And they also threw in this free Adidas Original Stu Superstar um, gift with purchase thing. So, you know, that was nice. But yeah, so I was planning on, I was like, okay, I guess I'll just have to use the 1,300 um, uh, VIP points to order the... UCS gunship and get it I don't know whenever it comes back I think they said like August 25th is whenever it would ship which is frustrating because you know you wait I, I had already I, I pre-ordered it so I can get it early and now they're telling me you're gonna wait you know you know it, it, it was just it was frustrating but so while I was waiting for them to deposit the VIP points I was thinking wait they just gave me 1300 VIP points, equivalent to $100. The UCS gunship is in stock. Instead of buying the Bad Batch shuttle, I can just use those VIP points to get a $100 discount off the Republic gunship. 
and so I did. Um, that's what ended up happening. Uh, I think, yeah, it was August 3rd. I ordered the Republic gunship. Um, I did get the uh, sailboat adventure set. That will be coming tomorrow. Something happened where, like, it wasn't shipped with the gunship. So, it, I checked the tracking. It said it, it says it'll be here tomorrow. So, that's good. It's a really good promo. Probably the best one that was ever done. But, yeah. So, that is kind of, like, the first uh, thing of, of this whole story. Now, the second part of the story is um, the amount of time that it took for the gunship to actually show up. So, as of recording, it is August 17th, and the gunship has just arrived, and I ordered it on August 3rd, which is exa exactly two weeks. So, you might be wondering, why did this take two weeks? Because I saw, you know, there were, there were people that got, like, two-day shipping with LEGO. You know, pe people in Europe and stuff. And, well, basically, if you go to Lego lego.com, in the top bar, it says, Shipping Delays in North America. If you click on it, it basically just says, you know, like, we're having shipping delays in North America, like... It really doesn't go too much in depth on why exactly, but um, just I'm just I'm guessing that it has to do with you know Corona, not as many people working, and you know just the amount of sales that they do get on August first. So yeah, um, they work. They said like you know expect delays. So obviously you know I I understand it um, as a collector. It can be hard you know having to to wait for a set that you are very excited about but it also you know makes you even more excited like you have something to look forward to but basically um my uh mandalorian starfighter arrived uh last week last tuesday so it took about a week and a half to get here and i was like okay that that's probably the longest it's ever taken me for a lego set to arrive because before that the longest it had taken me for a lego set to arrive was the tentive four which took about a week um but the mandalorian starfighter took a week and a half and i was like dang like they must they must really be busy or something so um i i was like well if that just shipped my gunship should probably be shipping soon so a few a few days pass and it hasn't shipped i'm starting to worry like are are they on back order like what what's going on here because at that point, it's almost two weeks, and I've not gotten any update on the set. So, we called Lego, and they basically said that they had just, on that day that we called, they had just finished selling, um, or they had just finished shipping out orders from August 1st. It took them almost two weeks to ship orders from the 1st. That just shows how many orders were made on the first and in my case I ordered this on the third so that's why it kept on getting delayed because how Lego works is they ship stuff out by the day that it was bought so you know say they get a certain amount of orders on one day they're gonna try to get all those orders out on on a certain day um and it took them a week and a half to get all the orders out from August 1st so yeah it, it ended up um shipping and then it showed up about three days later so very happy that it has came, um, and I have a lot of building ahead of me, uh, but yeah, I'm just so stoked to have this, but yeah, so expect to see, um, a few more videos revolving the gunship, I'm just so excited for this set, uh, this set is actually what, this and the Final First Bottle Pack are what kind of got me back into collecting LEGO full-time, uh, about a year ago, whenever I figured out about the UCS gunship coming out, or winning the uh, fan vote, I got very excited, and um, I, I'll actually throw a few pictures up here. I was making custom gunships, and um, yeah, they, they don't look too good. But, you know, I, it's just because I wanted the gunship so bad, and the fact that I was able to get the Ultimate Collector Series one, I'm just so thankful for it, and I'm very thankful for 500 subscribers as well. Uh, thank you guys so much. I am going to be having a 500 special coming up soon. It's going to be like an updated room tour. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.